Oh, I'm sorry for the silence. I just came back from Wakanda Forever. Wow, what a movie. It is the best movie I have ever seen in my entire life. At first, I wasn't sure how they were gonna do it without Chadwick Bosman, but after seeing the movie, they did it. They actually did it. Queen Ramonda, Sui Mabaku, Okoi, and Dodora Milaje fight to protect the nation from intervening world powers in the wake of King Chichala's death. As the Wakandans strive to embrace their next chapter, the heroes must band together with Nakia and Everett Ross towards a new path of their beloved kingdom. I was surprised that the theme to this one was a lot more ocean based. The story was absolutely beautiful. From start to finish, I especially loved the scenes where Shuri was remembering her, her memories with her brother. I also love that at first Shuri is against the idea of killing, but once her mom drowns, her vengeance, motive, and anger consume too. No more is an excellent villain, though a little bland. Though you do feel bad for him as you learn why he's doing the things he does. In fact, most characters in the movie are enjoyable. There was only two that were annoying, but that was only in the beginning, as the more the movie progressed, the less annoying they became. What surprised me about the soundtrack was the fact that there was zero pop culture, and all of the soundtrack were Afro music. Gives it a more unique soundtrack. Is it better than the first one? Well, it's hard to say, but as its own, it's an absolutely beautiful movie that should absolutely check it out. This movie gets an S rank. Forever.